Hi everyone and welcome back to the S&P Saga, your weekly recap of the S&P 500 index. The index completed another up week driven by the AI mania. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove 45% of the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into this week's review. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,815.03, up 1.1% from last week and adding 527 billion of market cap. The P ratio, based on current price and latest earnings, stands at 30.19, up 45 points since last week. Let's go to your gainers. Nvidia, up 242.4 billion or 7.9%, on reporting that Foxconn is building a new facility for them and that the company's brand new chips are sold out for the next 12 months. Lilly, up 43.2 billion or 5.1%, as the company appointed a new chief AI officer and initiating a new crackdown on competitors. JP Morgan, Again, up 31.5 billion or 5.2% after reporting better than expected earnings for their Q3 results. Uber is up 25.3 billion or 16.2% following Tesla's disappointing robo taxi reveal. More on that later. Amazon is up 24.2 billion or 1.2% on no specific news. Broadcom is up 22.6 billion or 2.7% on no specific news as well. Bank of America up 14.3 billion or 4.6% on the heels of JP Morgan announcing good results. Note that Berkshire Hathaway has now reduced its stake below 10%. Oracle is up 13.9 billion or 2.9% as investors continue to notice the company's AI offerings. Wells Fargo up 13.7 billion or 7.1% after reporting better than expected earnings for their Q3 results as well. Apple is up 11.4 billion or 0.3% on no specific news. Moving to your losers. Tesla is down 102.9 billion or 12% 0.9% as the robo taxi event, also known as Cybercap, to reveal new products disappointed investors. Alphabet is down 49.7 billion or 2.4% on no specific news. Meta is down 15.2 billion or 1% on no specific news as well. Walmart is down 6.7 billion or 1% on no specific news. We should note that the company is expanding in the pet care segment and it will be interesting to see how the company fares in that market. Constellation Energy down 6 billion or 6.8% as investors locked in some of the gains since the 20-year deal announced with Microsoft to supply nuclear-powered electricity for its AI data centers. Exxon is on 5.2 billion or 0.9% on no specific news. Adobe is on 5.2 billion or 2.3% on no specific news. Note that the company released a new digital signing tool for artists. Verizon is on 4.9 billion or 2.6% as the company was plagued by a second outage of its mobile network in the span of a week. AMD down 4.9 billion or 1.8% as the company's hype advancing AI event did not announce any new customers to investors. ConocoPhillips is down 4.7 billion or 3.5% on no specific news. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. As we're now officially into Q3 2024 earnings season, more companies reported earnings. Seven members released results last week and 482 companies are now left to report earnings. 43 S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending October 18th, 2024. And the most interesting will be United Health, Johnson & Johnson, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, and Charles Schwab on October 15th. Prologis, Abbott, and Morgan Stanley on October 16th. Netflix, Intuitive Surgical, Elevance Health, Marsh McClellan, and Blackstone on October 17th. Finally, Procter & Gamble and American Express will close the week on October 18th. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our weekly updates. To find out why Nvidia and Meta were up last week, you should watch this video next.